Syrian refugees are fleeing north into Turkey, hoping to escape the terror of Islamic State extremists. They also fear newly expanded airstrikes and a three-year civil war. CCTV's Mihail Bardavid has more. Bags in their hands, children on their shoulders, Syrian refugees continue to flow into Turkey. Hundreds arrive in the southeastern city of Şanlıurfa, hoping to find safety. Fleeing a three-year civil war, terrorists from Islamic State or ISIS, and new airstrikes aimed at defeating them. They huddle in small groups, supporting each other. Men carrying water bottles, children clutching on to the chocolate bars handed to them by aid workers. Relieved to have escaped death at the border, many were in despair. We lost everything, money, our home, there's nothing left. Absolutely nothing survived. Some of us were injured, some including children were slaughtered. You can see our situation, we're now homeless. We have nothing but the clothes we are wearing. Though most of the Syrians are grateful to have found refuge here in Turkey, some have other sentiments. 45-year-old Saida says she feels homeless within these tents. Even if ISIS comes to our homes and slaughters us, I want to go back. Worst case, they will slaughter us. But I would rather die in my homeland than die homeless in a foreign land. There are now more than a million displaced Syrians living in Turkey. As many as 130,000 refugees crossed the border just in the past few days. The United Nations Refugee Agency says it is planning for up to 400,000 Syrian Kurds to flee into Turkey. On Tuesday, Turkey said it may give military or logistical support for the U.S.-led airstrikes against Islamic State terrorists. So far, the NATO ally has refused a military role in the coalition. Meanwhile, as fighting in Syria continues, those most affected are the civilians caught in between. Mikhail Bardavid, CCTV, Şanlıurfa, Turkey.